A sincerely wonderful good morning, friends, everyone, and welcome to Jay's stream. Alright, so. First off, I just want to say. I'm surprised that there are people here. Uh, we're having a bit of a late stream today because I decided that it'd be a good idea to sleep in. And when I woke up from sleeping in, I decided, yeah, I should probably eat something and um, wash my face and all that before I start streaming. So, I delayed my stream by about an hour, so here we are, playing our new game an hour late, but having about the same amount of time to invest in the game. Today we are starting the new game that will be replacing the slot that Anna's quest previously took, The Sexy Brutality. Um, not entirely sure if I'm pronouncing that last word correctly, but uh, schwadevs. So this is going to be a murder mystery, um, time looping, time travel game. So expect a lot of resets, a lot of um, replays as I try to like figure things out, see what's going on with this um, whole mystery thing. Aside from those elements though, I'm pretty much blind to whatever the story is. So without further ado, let's begin the game. Save game 1. 0 out of 9 envelopes, envelopes, 52, 0 out of 52 playing cards, so looks like it's the standard um, deck that we're dealing with. Wait, hang on, is it 52? Uh, 10, 10 numbered cards, 4 faces, that's 40. Queen, Jack, King, that's 3, 3, 3, 12. Yeah, 52. If you don't count the jokers or you know, trump cards. Or the rule cards. <laughs> Let's get right into it then. The Marquis is the enigmatic owner and creator of the Sexy Brutale Casino Mansion. Every year throws an extravagant masked ball for a select party of guests. His impeccably trained staff cater to their every desire. But this year, something is terribly terribly wrong. The guests are unhappy at all. But you can find out for yourself, Lefcadio Boone. After all, you have all the time in the world. So we're playing this character named Lefcadio Boone. Gotcha. And the mansion is owned by someone named the Marquis. Or is it the Marquess? Hmm. I just forgot how that's pronounced. Star Trek Voyager kind of ruined the... How I, how I viewed the pronunciation of that word. Uh, let's see what voice shall we give this thing. Seems like a extra planar being of some sort or other. Let's get the really weird echoey voice, shall we? Time to move on, old man. Flames. Never take your mask off. It will give you a chance. Just a chance. You are not weak. And I will help you. But he... He is so, so strong. And... Puddle of Flames. I... So I guess we're starting not at the beginning, but in the middle. Alright, get up, Professor. I think you're Professor, you're dressed like one. So this is the Cardio Boon, huh? Alright. This is how I move. Hey. So jank. Look at it. He just turns around with a... <laughs> All right. Can I not examine anything? Yeah, not yet. Go through the door. Spy. I can spy with my little eye. Oh no! Does this game not come with a mini map? I'm gonna get terribly lost. 
look through the keyhole. Hello. It must be he. What was that? Calm down, Reggie. They won't look for you here. Probably. Go to the door. Listen. Oh. I have like a sonar thing. How do I get out of it though? Follow him to the door. Oh, okay. I was supposed to hold it, but uh, I wasn't standing right by the door. Whoops. garbage in a safe okay that's my set my hearing and I can spy Lucas what have you done I'm terribly sorry sir oh, I can't see him well no you can't please you don't know what's going to happen Ah, uh, no there. I must correct you, sir. I know exactly what is going to happen. What will happen is that I'm going to shoot you messily in the chest, and then have a bastard of a time getting it off the rug work. I think that's what he said. I gotta read that fast. Oh, here we are, in a different room. And wake up, wake up, wake up. He is coming. Hide. Alright. Not the killer? Or did I just wake up in a different room, as I mentioned? And it's just a new person. Let's have a look. Okay, that this seems like the same dialogue box, so... Maybe it's the same person? Is the killer? Huh! It's still loaded. Let's see if this works. Guess there's always plan B if it doesn't. Huh. Kinda wearing similar clothes to me. Danger sense. Hmm. Look through the keyhole. I'm terribly sorry, sir. What? No, you can't. Please! You don't know what's going to happen! Ah, uh, no. There, I must correct you, sir. I know exactly what is going to happen. What will happen is that I'm going to shoot you messily in the chest. Then I've a past of a time in his stain out the stonework. Oh, stonework, that's what he said. Wait a minute, that would happen earlier. He's coming, run. Be calm. Oh, he saw me. You were not seen. He is not chasing you. Look back to the door. Alright. I trust the mysterious person. Where the hell is Seven Clubs? He can bloody well come and help me with the body. I'm not lifting it on my own. He did not see you. He will not chase you. No one in this mansion will. That was my gift when I touched your mask. It will protect you, but only for a short time. The staff are murderers here. The guests are victims. But they are all controlled, dominated by the mask they wear. 
I have one more gift for you. This pocket watch is important. I took it from the man you saw murdered. Broken pocket watch with a lottery. Uh, the it looks like it has the roulette wheel design. If you can return it to sixpence, he will be able to unlock its full potential. But first, you will have to save him. Is that his name? I have to go. He will find me if I stay. And back at the puddle. Alright, let's take a look at us for... Let's have a drink, shall we? Yep. And huh. You received a broken pocket truck, but broken pocket watch. Use the pocket watch to restart the day from 12 p.m. The pocket watch is partially smashed and resets at 5 p.m. Okay, so I have like uh, 12 p.m. So noon until 5, so about 5 hours. If you can find some way or someone to repair it, you will gain more control over time. Okay. Here you will see the current guests or guests you're trying to save. The end of the beginning. Achievement get. You saw everything the bloody girl has to show you. Time to get to work. Wow, only 77% for an achievement you can get for just playing 5 minutes or 5 or 10 minutes of the game. And all these other ones are 10%. Ooh. Interesting. One more time, rewind. Saturday, Saturday. Hey, it's the morning. Oh, I have a lot of things to do. The Bucky invites you to tonight's show. 7 p.m. in the theater. Alright, I don't have time for that. Let's see, I have to save Reginald Sixpence. No, oh, because I gave him a correct voice, because he's got that nosy beak and the inventor's cap on. Inventory. Broken pocket watch. A beautiful gold pocket watch. The face is smashed and only the numbers until 5pm can be read. Okay, so the map isn't as big as I thought it was. Oh, I can even track the guest's movements using this map. That's interesting. Can I change anything though? Well, I guess I can because it's time travel. So, it's really a matter of just figuring out all the things I can do to change things. Tutorial, please. Ah, okay. I have a bunch of locked stuff. Anything about the guests? Oh, I have to find their invitations. Okay. The chapel. Secrets. Alright, that's the options menu now. Okay. I have to find 9 invitations and 52 cards. And the invitations will also unlock more information about the guests. Interestingly, some of them have really cool looking designs for the frames. Like this one's obviously a couple. But then these two have a padlock between them. Kind of like you would in a journal or a book. And these two are two separate frames, but they're also together. And all of them have masks on the pictures, it looks like. Alright. As you explore the sexy brutality. Uh, as you explore the sexy brutality. Your map will be built up with the rooms you have discovered. The movement of characters you have seen will be added to the map. You can adjust the time shown on the map by using the time scrubber. Oh boy, I'm not gonna get anything done. The fire is roaring, so that it calls your heart to race. 
several books on card sharpening, including a signed first edition by Clay Rockridge. The chair is old, the flaws he crafted. A Bible is on the table nearby. Oh, I heard something shake. My word, this room is... My word, this room is ominous! Aha! Great son, you reprobate! You could've... Ha! Ah, it's a bingo! Okay, that dialogue's very fast. Grayson, huh? So we have Grayson, we have Lucas, and ourselves. of Cardia Boon. It's just garbage! Who looks garbage in a safe? I mean, I would like that garbage, so I'm gonna get it. Blank cartridge. Alright, we already got some stuff. Oh, only six items to work with. Or maybe only six inventory slots, in which case I have to like um like kind of ration out which items to pick up. Blank bullets will make a loud noise, but no actual round will be fired. A person might use these to hunt with friends without actually harming any animals. Ledgers fill with running costs for the casino. They are covered in dust. Okay, is there anything there? The contents of the scattered all over. There's nothing valuable to be seen in this mess. It's one of the wall's claws, man. Those razor sharp. Empty, for the love of... Oh. I should go to the other room. I spy with my little eye. It's not here. No, it has to be. You promised me, damn it. This can't be happening. Oh, sorry, three. Wow. Time was fast. Lucas, what have you done? <gasps> Oh, this is the murder happening, right? So we looked at the keyhole. Yeah, it's this thing again. So earlier, it wasn't actually dark. It's just that my vision was dark. What happens if I get discovered? Hello! Time with good time, I've been afraid. So many memories that I would like to change. Alright. Let's do the time warp again. The Marquee invites you tonight's show. 7 pm in the theater. Alright, so you already know that there's nothing in this room. But. Reginald does pass through here at some point. Probably. Ah! Whoop! Okay. A glass table support an elephant's foot. There are tiny hairs on the skin. A stuffed owl. Fierce and proud looking, but still very dead. I can hide in that. Hunting rifle firmly secured to the wall. The lonely chamber is open, but it may already have bullets inside. Ah, that's what the black was for. A plaque reads, The rifle that famed blind hunter Lewis and Clark was holding when he was surprised and devoured by a lion. Preserved intact. Oh. So, how smart can you really be? Whoop. 
Dang it. Couldn't hide in time. We need to have uh, Archibaldo. If someone is playfully copying us, it's a joke. Actually, I want to explore the room he was in now. So I can't take the gun, right? But I can load the blank bullet into the chamber. A heavy marble dresser. Behind is a painting of sunflowers with human eyes. What's about this door? I'm asking to approach the door. It's as though it's pushing me away. Hmm. Okay, let's look at the map. So I'm, I'm actually lost now. Okay, so these are all places I've been. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing some context as to where people go, but I have a general idea just because I've like looked through keyholes and stuff. So at some point, he must pass through um, this room between the zebra carpet and the chapel. I'm gonna keep exploring though. See if I find anything interesting. A girl with a single earring and a smile that is too wide. girl holding was possibly a weasel. I am weasel. Maybe I should explore the chapel while they're not in here yet. Crumbs? Ah, uh, come in me first. Oh, there we go. I mean, I'm probably gonna get caught, but, um, could be interesting. Okay, real quick. Move, move, move. This quarter, I think perhaps. Yes, now the house blue is correct. The safe should be in here. This. Aha! Grace and you, reprobate. You had better be right. Aha! It's a bingo! Wait, where is it? This is garbage! Alright. A girl pouring wine or blood? Beautifully done, but unsettling. But also, I know that. The killer's going to be there almost immediately, right? Oh, that's burning. Knew it. Dang it. Should have brought them up. Really? Right now? You don't see me. Let's have a look. It's still loaded. Let's see if this works. Because it's always plan B if it doesn't. So he's the two of diamonds. Huh. What am I? I just have a hand on my mask. Alright, this is the part where we get shot. Works on fish? I like last hookah pipe. It smells sweet and smoky. Alright, let's restart the day. I'm just trying to like see all the, the pieces before I, I try to solve this this murder to be. That's alright. Must be here. What was that? Did I scare him? 
Not energy. They won't look for you here. Probably. This corridor, I think perhaps. Yes, I thought this building's correct. The safe should be in here. My word, this room is ominous. Aha! <clears throat> Grace on you, reprobate. You had better be right. Aha, it's a bingo! Wait, where is it? There's just garbage. Who looks like garbage in a safe? I know it's here. There's somewhere. It's been special. I know it is. But you never told me. You should have told me. So whatever he's like talking about is already gone. So I think he's referring to Lucas. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, there he goes. Into the shadows. Empty, for the love of... We're running out of time. Alright, so shortly after he dies, I have a small window to like look in that box that he opened. I'm gonna try for it. After he gets shot. It's not here. No, it has to be. You promised me, damn it. This can't be happening. Oof. Lucas, what have you done? <clears throat> I'm terribly sorry, sir. Oh, no, you can't. Please. You don't know what's going to happen. <clears throat> oh, no, there. I must correct you, sir. I know exactly what is going to happen. Perhaps I'm going to shoot you messily in the chest. But have a blast of a time in the stain out the stonework. On the plus side, the gun still works. No, it may sound odd, but in a way, you're lucky, sir. Plan B is going to be beating you to death with a candlestick, which would have been the cost for both of us, so everyone wins, really. Ah. Alright, small window. Comes? Ah, maybe first must be kept here. Empty, just a faint coin smell of wine. Where is playing itself? The air feels strange. Candlestick, candlestick. This one, right? The candle is seriously odd. Okay. Marl Arthur, two very heavy brass candlesticks. Okay, so it's the altar. I have to I have to get the candlestick off the altar so I can't beat him with a candlestick. They all say you're a true blue genius, Mr. Expense, but you've just run into dead end to hide. So how smart can you really be? Ah, dang it! Oh! The rifle! That's a much better idea. Let's do that. Oh! something in the floor right on the stone steps dang it oh he's, he's cleaning the, the keyhole I should have bought the mop yeah so they're being controlled by their mass somehow the butler still seems eerily concerned with the upkeep of the house You know what? Let's just reset this day. Nothing I'm going to be useful out of that one. 
And then it was hard progressing the game, I swear. I'm just having so much fun, like, um, seeing the full picture. Or as much, or as much as, bleh, or as much of it as I can see, anyway. There we go. Now I have a full picture. Off he goes. Then he goes into the chapel. As for red number two, disappears from my line of sight for a while, so. Let's see, he starts in that room over there. Yep. Stops in the zebra carpet room. Gets the gun from the adjacent room. And then. You know, he walks in to shoot. Uh, he looks at the keyhole and goes back. Oh no, the gun is in the, in the zebra carpet room. So this is the room leading up to the chapel. He goes back to get the gun. And he steps through, shoots him. And then that's where my land head disappears. Okay, I'm going to just keep watching this room from the corridor then. As soon as Reginald leaves. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the kind of sick that they're talking about is the one on the altar. So, once I mess with the gun with the blank cartridge, I should be able to see... Uh, I should be able to mess with the candlestick afterwards, because I don't know that he's going to use the candlestick yet, even though I've seen a dialogue that he will. <clears throat> Any minute now, he's going to step through that door. There, two o'clock, or at one fifty rather. There, now I have the connecting piece. Then, interestingly, he steps back through. So, does he say anything else? Like, are there any other hints I should be looking out for? from 3 to 4 p.m. Actually, no, it's not, e not even that. It's 4 p.m. to... I guess full f fully until 5 o'clock. His um, monologue after he's killed the man. Right on the stone steps. Dang it. Should have put them up. So you're taking his time. Which is funny because I don't want to time travel. Sorry, sir. I was kind of worried that there'd be too much to like keep track of, but um, so far I'm just in a five minute loop of I'm um, playing this this puzzle. So it doesn't seem too complicated, this game anyway. So you might be looking at a rather short game for this for these streams. Maybe five or six parts should be enough to get through the whole game. Huh. Does he not go anywhere? Oh, he doesn't. No, he does. Okay, there it is. Where the hell is Seven Clubs? Can bloody well come and help me with the body. Alright, that's the part we saw in the, the, the prologue. I'm not lifting it on my own. Okay, so there's two diamonds. 
bang. That's the end of our current timeline. Okay, let's actually progress here. So first off, let's mess with stuff in the chapel. early oh didn't even see this the window is magnificent but creates a deep sense of unease oh, I didn't even see that there he goes okay let's just follow him in and once we're ready, grab the blank cartridge from them. Grey Sun. Hmm. So we have Thanos who him blueprints, and then this Grey Sun person who's telling about the safe. They might be the same person. And then Lucas seems to be the person he's like mad at for leaving something behind or not telling him something. Okay, grab the cartridge. And according to my map. There. He steps through the door. In time for me to like um replace the the bullet. Go 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 go. And I move. Ooh, I did something. I'm terribly sorry, sir. Uh, no, no, you can't! Please! You don't know what's going to happen! Ah, now there I must correct you, sir. I know exactly what is going to happen. What is wrong with this blasted thing? A blank? Foof! There better be a second round in here. Otherwise, it'll be plan B for you, I'm afraid. Ah, that's got it. Here we go. You coward! Coward! Yeah! Ha! Golden duck! Cracking job! This feels... Very different. His body is. It's turned to a shadow. Is he dead? Why am I wearing this mask still? <gasps> he took it off. Hey, they got animations of the faces. Cool. Ah, so much better. Lord! Lafcadio! Hello! Where are we? Do you know? And wait, is that my pocket watch? I have the strangest feeling I've been looking all over for this. You've done quite the number on it. Interesting. He can see us now. Was it the mask? There! That should see her, right? All fixed. Now, I think I should get back to the party. Huh. He doesn't seem as concerned about the dead body anymore. Or, or the guy who's trying to kill him anymore. Use the pocket watch on any ticking clock. This will save your game and set the clock as your starting port for each day. With the watch repaired, the full day is now open to you. Oh. Someone's been having a slight tipple on the job. Good show. Sleep it off, that man. Oh wow, he really doesn't remember. Well, that's interesting. 
Sixpence, none the wiser. That's interesting. Take his mask. You will need its power. All right. Sure. Do I get to just play as Reginald when I put it on? Nope, it's just part of my head, I guess. With Sixpence's mask, you can now create a bond with the clocks around the house. Use any active clock in the mansion to jump to 4 p.m. or 8 p.m. Okay, so it lets me like jump between the time that he died and the time that it's supposed to end. Well, no, 8 p.m. I guess later. But it lets me do time jumps if I'm like taking too long with a certain loop or round, I guess. You saved Reginald's life. He was the personal clockmaker to the owner of this mansion, the Maquis. And uh, where is the Maquis? Well, he was more than that, but... The important thing is that the clocks in the mansion are tuned to him. Now you have this mask, his power, they will respond to you. You have to go, quickly. Even now, the man has training to undo what you have done. But you can fight back, saving one life at a time. This day will start again. I pray that Sixpence's power will free you from these rooms. If you are lost, find me in the casino. I will look for you by the clock. There are so many guests here who need your help. This is very interesting. You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. 